Hello everyone, my name is Mara, and today's case is about Terrence Woods Jr., who was 26 years old when he went missing from a movie set in Idaho in October of 2018. This case is very suspicious, and it reminds me a lot of a case that I covered, I think it was around two months ago, about a young man named Daniel Robinson. I'm not going to go into all the details right now of Daniel's case, but if you want to watch that video, I will link it down below. Just a quick reminder before I get started. I always try to do the best research and get the most accurate information I can for every single case that I cover. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's case. Terrence Shamel Woods Jr. was born on October 24th of 1991 to his dad, Terrence Woods Sr. and his mom, Valerie Woods. Terrence was said to be very happy-go-lucky, and he was a graduate of the University of Maryland. He then moved to London, England, and lived there for several years after his graduation, before deciding to move back to the United States in 2018. One of his previous jobs, he even worked on the TV show The Voice. With his job, he was able to travel many different places, one of those places being Morocco. But during this time in October of 2018, Terrence was working as a TV producer for the show on Discovery, Gold Rush. The film crew consisted of 12 men, all of them were white except for Terrence. set was near Nez Perce National Forest. That's in Oro Grande, Idaho. This forest spans about 4 million acres, and it's a rugged, mountainous terrain, which includes rivers and wildlife, including bears and wolves. On the night of October 4th of 2018, Terrence and his co-workers go and have dinner. This is where it said Terrence met a woman and they exchanged phone numbers, and his co-worker said it seemed like a completely normal night. Then on October 5th of 2018, Terrence lets the company that he works for, which is called Raw TV, know that he plans on going home for a week because his mom is sick. That morning at 8.34 a.m., Terrence texts his dad and lets him know that he plans on coming home on October 10th. Family noted that it was not like him to come home early from a job. Coworker said most of that day he was not acting like himself, and earlier in that morning he had had an anxiety attack. Then suddenly at 5.30 p.m., Terrence removes his radio, says he needs to use the bathroom, and then runs towards a cliff. When they walk over, they expect to see that he most likely jumped off the side of this cliff. But when they look down, he's about 15 feet down, still running. An associate producer, whose name is Simon G, said that Terrence was running faster than he's ever seen anyone run. Then at 6.41 p.m., when Terrence still has not returned back, members of the film crew report him as missing. I'm guessing because of the terrain and how it was starting to get dark out, they decided to put off the search until the next morning. And as soon as his parents, Terrence Sr. and Valerie, hear that he is missing, they get on a plane and fly from Maryland to Idaho. On October 6th of 2018, the official search for Terrence started. Idaho Sheriff's Office does a land and air search. Raw TV also helped search for him. And search dogs did pick up his scent, but once they got to the edge of the cliff, it was lost. The next day on October 7th, they continued their search. This search consists of ground searches, search dog teams, U.S. Forest Service personnel, fish and game personnel, and the Back County Rescue Helicopter Team. And on October 8th of 2018, UH-1 Helicopter from the Fairchild Air Base joins in the search. Then, after days of searching, on October 11th of 2018, they call off the search because there still is no sign of Terrence or what happened to him. His parents, Terrence Sr. and Valerie, meet with the production crew and the authorities. And since the production crew was the last people to see him, his parents had a lot of questions for them. But even with having all these questions, they felt like they weren't getting very many answers. So his parents decide to hire a private investigator. His dad says that the circumstances around his disappearance just does not seem so cut and dry to him. That's when he learns that Terrence had had a panic attack that morning. His dad's theory of what happened is that Terrence saw and heard something on the set that he wasn't supposed to know, and that he also didn't want to be a part of it, so he made up the story that he had to leave and go home. But since he already knew the secret, it wasn't going to be possible for him to leave. He also found out that this Simon was excited to work with Terrence until he found out that he was black. Which is just so ridiculous to me. 
I think no matter your race, gender, whatever it may be, if you're good at your job, you should be respected and not discriminated against. Raw TV responded with this statement. Terrence was a popular figure at Raw. He was a well-liked and valued member of the production team, and his disappearance has deeply affected us all. Terrence went missing in a remote, densely wooded, and mountainous area in Idaho that was particularly challenging to search. From the outset, our location team was actively involved in the search for Terrence, and we put a great deal of effort and resource into trying to locate him. We have the deepest sympathy for Terrence's family and friends. It is truly heartbreaking that Terrence has not been found, and we continue to hope that he will be. But Terrence Sr. doubts their sincerity. And this is his statement back. He says Raw TV is a multi-million dollar company that owns Discovery and my son disappeared at work, but they didn't call and say we knocked on his hotel door this morning and he was gone. What they told me is they said that he was in front of 12 other people and then just disappeared. When they returned his suitcase to his family, all of his clothes were neatly folded, but there was a pair of muddy boots in there. His parents have done so much to keep his story alive. They've gone on radio shows, hired private investigators, been on Dr. Phil, and even hired multiple different lawyers. And these lawyers and private investigators will be like, great, yes, we'll take the case. And then Terrence Sr. says that they never hear from them ever again. Personally, to me, that seems very suspicious. Is Raw TV maybe trying to keep things quiet, or is there something else going on? But authorities say that there have been no signs of foul play. And to this day, Terrence's case is still open and active. So if you know anything, remember anything, please reach out to the Idaho County Sheriff's Office. I don't know, this whole case is just very strange. How can all these people be there when he disappears and they still have no idea what happened to him? I hope his family is able to get some answers and that Terrence will get some justice. You can just tell how loved he was by his family, and he had all this great stuff going for him. I hope that they'll be able to find him and that his family will be able to get the answers that they deserve. But thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all the support that you've been giving me. If I forgot anything, please comment down below. Make sure you like my video, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.